Hello everybody and welcome to Belle's channel and today we will be doing Defiance Has Fallen Part 2. Um, now this quest, well, well let's first let's show you where we are. We are here, very close to Devil's Backbone and near Huntersville. Um, if you don't know where those are, it's kind of in the Savage Divide on the verge of going into the Cranberry Bog. Um, top of the world's there and if you just follow the like the little roads down you'll see like this tower here don't go into Huntersville if you aren't ready for it it is the origin place of the super mutants so just be aware of that <laughs> um but other than that no we've gone here i was trying to find the best route i thought i don't know actually what i thought i thought this might have been brotherhood of steel base but it's not or even that you know what i mean but it's not this is appears to be their base um so I thought, do you know what, we're going to go in from the Savage Divide rather than all the way through the Cranberry Bog without needing to. Um, so we're going to follow this road. And I imagine it's going to be pretty treacherous. I mean, lots of going to closed mountain areas here. Um, to me, that just looks a bit worrying. Um, but yeah, we'll just go down there. As you can see, you can kind of see the middle of the Cranberry Bog, that big thing there that thing so you know let's hope that's good Cranberry Bog doesn't look too different from a far away I need to get a bit closer but it doesn't look I mean I can hear something sorry I can hear like something thudding looks a bit pinky yeah I can see that um a quest Defiance Fallen. We did do part one, I think like a few episodes ago, but not not too many. It says it turns out that the Brotherhood of Steel's Fort Defiance is actually located at the Algeny Asylum deep inside the Cranberry Bog. Uh, so we need to get inside the Brotherhood's headquarters, and as you can see, that is where it's pointing us here. To, oh sorry, I was wondering if I missed something. Like that. I it, what? To be honest, I didn't realise it was at the asylum. Um, I haven't read that bit in a while. But this van here just said something. It's up there actually. There. It just said something about it. So I don't know. It just, it, uh, I don't even know if I have the same thingy for it, if that makes sense. The uh, same. I don't know what it's called. Sorry, I'm going to sneeze in a minute. <laughs> I'm just trying to focus. No, I think it's slightly with an E. If I can't, I'm going to try for like two minutes. If I can't find it, then I can't find it. Oh, no, it's definitely not an E. I don't even know what it's called. Anyway, it's just saying about how I can't pronounce that name. The, the, I'll, I'm going to just call it the Asylum. That's, that's literally just what I'm going to call it. The Asylum. It just said something about the Asylum being like evacuated so that has something to do with it obviously Cranberry Bog looks nice I like that I want to go there that looks freaky see there's pockets so it's going on over there oh it's just glitching that's kind of where we're going going in between the mountains I will not be talking a lot because Whoa! That's cool. Yeah, I won't be talking a lot. We're get coming up to a camp here, a raider camp. Obviously, no more raiders, so there won't be them. But yeah, sorry, I won't be talking a lot because you can probably hear it. I just won't be. <laughs> Ooh. Oh no, I thought that was something different. That looks cool. The creature. Oh, how wonderful. Like quite impossible to kill. But at the same time as being incredibly easy to kill. It's weird. Oh, 
another one over there. And then put it on. Right, brood mother, let's get some goodies in here. Right, it still looks a bit weird, doesn't it? The rag is like, oh. Please do not feed the animals. And the animals appear to be humans. Right, let's unlock this door. So definitely this creature. This is American Horror Story right here. I never watched that show. I mean, I have watched the first few seasons, but I didn't like it very much. Oh, there's a glitch going on there. There's a person and. Oh, dog. Oh, red bandana. Oh, it was called Rufus. Oh, poor Rufus. Prisoner Crate. Alright, this is some name stuff here. I mean. He's a ranger. Okay, this is like where Pikmin. <gasps> I knew I should that. This is where Pikmin was born. I mean, we need to level up. Right here. Your rifles have more rate now. Sorry, I'm just looking. There's so many. Buying that, the armor breaks thirty percent more slowly. Oh, which one was it on? It was this one over there? Agility. I thought agility has some of the best perks. Your armor breaks thirty percent more slowly and is cheaper to repair. What? No. Ah. All right, all right. We'll, we'll get rid of. We'll get rid of. Moving target. Okay. Is that thing alive, Red? Oh, it's dead. Stimbox 2, honey. Ooh, I like honey beasts. I just like the name. I like anything to do with honey. I'm not necessarily like psycho about it. <laughs> Where's that? Wow, he's made of raw meat. That's smart. And it's stuck together with Bobby. <laughs> oh, I miss this game so much. No, ticket roll. Oh. Missile went off. Marine. Nice. So this is a pretty good place to go for some loot, to be honest. What is that? That's an almighty big structure. Oh, we're going past it. Let's just let's around. Uh, I don't think that's supposed to be there. It's a waste.
smelled your fear. Running and we're running. <laughs> we're going so far away. We need to die like a ton of dollars. I ain't facing that. I would face it, but we're gonna go against like I don't know what we're gonna face when we go to the Brotherhood of Steel facility that was taken over, considering they're the most powerful enemy or faction in. A full out, like every four, I can hear something. Every four, like in oh. existence, you know, perhaps not as much as the institute, but they died, didn't they? So, yeah, that's why, like, I don't know what we're gonna face when we get to this brother's sort of thing. That's why I'm not. Facing them seniors because I can just see myself wasting a ton of stuff. <laughs> Do you know what? I thought was that an elevator. Pretty big for an elevator. You know what I mean? A little bit a little bit excessive maybe. I think we'll come back to that. I mean doesn't seem very necessary to me. I'm trying to discover the occasions as well as we're coming through, you know, maybe I'll jump something in the quest bit or um Maybe oh, I'm trying to grab it because it's obviously on the other side. Or maybe oh my god, I thought I was something here. What are they doing there? Like what? Like where in their head does it say, oh yes we need to be there? Uh, what did I just do that for? I want to get up there. I don't realise how much. <coughs> Oops, not silly, wasn't it? I don't know why I just did not go around. I mean, Ooh, cabin. This is mine. <coughs> Friends, I don't even see him. There you are. Oh, good. I hear another one. I oh, know. No, I just haven't picked up yet. This seems pretty quaint. Look like it was a set. Uh, sick, yes. Uh, 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 the most annoying 
sting. They do so little damage. They hit you so many times. Great. I just, like... I don't really use them right away. I hate that. I hate them so much. They're not my worst enemy. But they are damn not well annoying. There's one there in it. Yeah. And there's another one! Why are there so many? Yeah. Okay, okay, they got, they got, they got. Lucky whole mine. Well, ooh, look at that. Ah, oh, I see that's connected to that. What's that most bit broke out? About to say I will not want it to be there when the bombs fell. Can dog food with me? I cannot, I never think I'd be glad to like see dog food. <laughs> Abandon mine. Ooh, dangerous. We will come back. But first we have a mission <laughs> that I completely then fire dropped off. What the Oh! Oh, I get it. A monorail elevated. Don't see how it can elevate. What it does is you go in on a train, go there, flips you round, and it keeps you going. That's pretty smart. Bit excessive. You know, I mean, you could have just done an incline. You know, like one sidewards, maybe. Up. But you know, ingenious. You know, build that massive twister roller coaster thing that'll just flip, like lift up the monorail. That that yeah. All right. What the fuck? It's smart, but that's a bit excessive. I mean, all right. Let's check the map. How far are we? Probably nowhere near. Oh my god, we're not. We're not even far. That's the asylum. How creepy does that look? Creepy yeah. surge. Right, right, right. Let's get back to the road before it. You know, let's, let's be smart about this. Ooh, look, cabin there. No, I want to be. Right, why? Is someone attacking their home? Or is this somebody else's home? Somebody else built a home here. Ah, oh, damn it. I found it. Defiance. Whoa, they do you know what? they got a pretty good home. We, we literally were like just up there like a second ago and I went all the way around. Yeah, not very. Um, why do you need to stuff? This dude's like in the middle of the building, right? Like. Yeah, it's not very. Um, not, not as impressive as I thought. Not like that. But it's not very, uh. Oh, it was a chess piece, didn't know about that. It's not like. the stuff here. Shut up. This is super. Okay. That doesn't look good, does it? <laughs> Do you know when I first saw them creatures down there? They're not creatures, they're the statues. When I first saw them, I was like, oh my god, oh my god I'm so terrified. But once I got to know them, they're actually really easy. You know what I mean? Like, 
he just walk around me. Okay, let me cure my disease. Please enter please. Okay, and now we're gonna go in. Drink some water. Alright, there is scorched. Okay. Now we're getting somewhere. As long as there isn't a scorch beef, I'm okay. Cranberry ball, officially in it. What are those using? Oh great, I wasn't loaded. That was smart. Say, does it? Is there a way to repair it? Should none of them remind you when that goes off. So this is kind of it from the outside. You know, the scorched. Ah, oh, is this where I'm at? So this is their defense terminal. Initiate pro combat check. The scorched feet throat leaves the protected zone. Whoa. Whoa. Sonic generator must be repaired before that landed line in the sky. That's what that is. If you repair that, I bet Scorch Beast is going to be coming. I bet you. And we'll just pop round and say hello. Let's turn that off. Yeah, I don't want to be around when Scorch Beast pops up. Auxiliary battery turn. Alright, so there's Brotherhood bodies. Obviously the scorched, I mean that was like a good guess. I swear to god I just heard a scorched beast. No. Inside. I've already killed one, don't need to kill another, thanks. So let's go in and see. Well, it's not like they've got a massive base, but they must have survived. Alright, so discover the Brotherhood's fate. Let's do so. Okay, there's a whole thing there. D. Silver's recon report. Recon notes to self. I knew it. I remember coming here on a school field trip. Walls, as strong as I remember. Paladin's gonna love it. Power lines run underground and connect up to Thunder Mountain. And so much space to grow into. But boy, is the whole thing a fixer-upper. And the smell. And there's the small problem of the ghouls. But we've got power armor and miniguns for that. 
Do I want to live in a madhouse? Well, it's better than being crammed in like Sardine's adventure. The Silva out. Okay, so the Silva's terminal. First week down. The first floor's clear of ghouls. It's a disaster area, and with but with a little elbow grease, we each have our own room. It's a little scary at night. The others weren't raised with stories about this place. My guess is in a week or two we'll be ready for Scribe Grant and the others to come on over. The boys and I start calling this place Fort Defiance. It has a nice ring to it. What? I was trading war stories with the guys on the roof last night. Then we saw the craziest thing. It was like some sort of bat flying in from Watoga, I guess. We thought there was nothing living over there, unless you count those murder bots. Oh, great. But the, th the thing flew straight towards us, so we opened up with the miniguns. I think we literally scared the crap out of it. That was real, right? Cumbery bots got gotten so very, very strange. Why would you shoot it? So Grant showed up and started running all over. Checking every room, generator, the elevator, everything. It would be impressive if we weren't so exhausting. Then Grant starts asking a million questions. How many breaches in the walls? How many doors? Unsecured windows? Then he says we're abandoning this whole wing and the first floor. Has he trekked up to the second floor? Like he, he says he can't get the ele elevator up running again. And even when it's also installed some military security s stuff, Squire Webber found on a salvage, salvage run. Sorry, I can't talk today. So in one day, everything we were planning for Fort Defiance is tossed out. Oh, except the name. That's the one thing Grant liked. <laughs> Great. But you'll be thinking that oh, I wish you never came. Pretty nice stuff here. Okay, another another whole tape. Hospital report staff incident. <sighs> Hospital incident report. Resident psychiatrist, Dr. Kessel. One of the junior nurses has suffered a nervous breakdown. His assignments included patient 5A3, whose afflictions manifest in habitual self harm. Patient 5A4, who, uh, well, not violent, does aggressively grab and paw at whoever is trying to administer care. And also, patient 5B7, who breaks down into loud, unconsolable fits of crying, with no apparent cause or trigger. Uh, that, and the constant attention and sanitary cleanup required throughout the day for all of his charges, was too much for the young nurse. We found him standing outside the door to one of the patient's rooms, carrying a tray of food, but not moving anywhere. One of the other nurses noticed he'd been standing in place for over an hour. When he finally responded to our attempts to get his attention, he seemed surprised at any time had passed. During our exit interview, he broke into tears. He wanted to know if something was wrong with him, if he would end up here as a patient. I explained that nervous exhaustion was a common ailment, especially for hospital workers. Maybe after some months of rest, he could reapply for his job. That didn't seem to console him. Oh wow. Do you know what? Catch me wrong, this is actually a pretty big place. So oh does that shut the doors? No, it appears nothing's working. Oh, power out the asylum. Okay. Cool. I'm just like looking out. Apparently there's nothing here. Okay, there's a notice. Final stand. Generated out of fuel, with all the scorch beasts, not sure how long the boys at Thunder's Mountain can hold out. If the AAs go down, we're all dead. For everyone who reads this, no, I tried my best. We all did. The Withered of Steel held the line as long as we possibly could. But the scorch beasts keep keep on coming. I'm running out of time, so please listen. If the scorch beast is still a threat, you need to get to the top floor. The security doors are top of the line military security. Find a way past them. Do what we fail to do. Stop the Scorch Beast. Power's flickering. Have to go. In the end, I get it. Add Victorian. Scribe Grant. Oh. 
Oh, Brotherhood. Do you know what I always, I, I mean, Fallout 3. Ooh. Nice. Some good stuff there. Fallout 3. You know, I didn't. I love them. You know, you were made to go with them, to be honest. I mean, let's, let's talk that through. You were made to go with the Brotherhood. And I did like them. But you did. Whoa. But you did get the idea that Elder Lion. Only registered Brotherhood of Steel personnel allowed past this point. Whoa. Maybe it's kind of Anyway, yeah, so Elder Lions, he was from Fallout 3. You know, I, you got the sense from him that he wasn't doing what the other Elders wanted. And then in Fallout 4, I turned off the Brotherhood. I was so happy to see him, but I completely turned off him. Their ways were disgusting. I mean, I know it's a video game, but they were so cruel, so just mean. I couldn't do it. Uh -huh. That one purple, then, is it? <sighs> Damn it! All right, so we need to do the thing. Okay, I think I'm gonna end this video here. Probably been running quite a long time, and when we come back, we will fully explore Fort Defiance and start, or possibly, depending on how long it is, complete the quest Recruitment Blues. Which I have a feeling we're joining the Brotherhood. Thank you for watching and goodbye.